Hey, this is a recipe from Women's World Magazine called Marguerite Chicken. Start off with three plum tomatoes chopped. Add to that two finely chopped tablespoons of fresh basil. Add two tablespoons of finely chopped red onion. I like it nice and small. It's up to you if you want it chunky or not. One tablespoon of olive oil. One tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. I'm gonna stir that together. And I forgot to add at this point an eighth of a teaspoon of salt and an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. So I will do that now. And you could vary the salt and pepper to your taste. Probably a little bit more salt, like more like a half a teaspoon would have been better, I think, here. Then to a shallow dish, put one and one quarter cups of breadcrumbs and then add an additional four tablespoons of chopped fresh basil. Mix that together. Now between sheets of plastic wrap, you're going to pound four boneless chicken breasts flat. Now this is a meat mallet. Don't use the, the bumpy sides. That's going to make holes. Use the flat side. And you're just going to keep pounding this until you get about three eighths of an inch. Just do it gently so that you don't tear the meat. It's actually not that hard to do um, to pound these chicken breasts flat. It just takes a little bit of patience. And you're gonna do that with all four of them. And they can get quite thin and the thinner they are, the faster they cook. So that's why you wanna do them nice and thin. Then in another bowl, you're gonna put one quarter cup of Caesar salad dressing. And then you're going to use a brush and you're just going to coat both sides of your chicken breasts. Then you're going to dredge it into the basil crumb mixture. If I could change something here, I would add a teaspoon of salt to those crumb mixture, that crumb mixture, just to give a little bit more salt. I found it was lacking a little bit. And then continue to brush the chicken breasts with the dressing. And there's plenty of crumbs here to coat three fairly large flattened chicken breasts. In this skillet, you're going to put a couple tablespoons of olive oil and you're going to heat it up into medium high heat. And then you're going to put in the chicken breasts and you're going to cook them five minutes per side until it's cooked through. So it's no longer pink in the middle. Now, as you notice, two chicken breasts take up an entire skillet. So you may want to do two skillets at a time or you can just do it, do it in two batches. And what you're going to do is the first batch you're going to put it into, uh, into a pan or on a cookie sheet and put it in the oven about 300 degrees just to keep it uh, warm while you're cooking the other two halves. See how nice and brown and yummy that is? So there's the second batch cooking. The first batch is already on the cookie sheet, a little bit a greased cookie sheet just to make sure it doesn't stick. You're going to put a little bit of mozzarella cheese on top of there and how much you put is completely up to you and you're going to put that back in the oven on low to melt. There it is, nicely melted. Put it on your serving plate and then you're going to add some of your fresh tomato salsa that you just made over top. And you can serve it with whatever you want. These are really big chicken cutlets once they're pounded flat. So um, I just served it with a little bit of vegetables. It was fine. There you go. This is a delicious meal. It is a little bit fussy, a little bit time consuming, but it is very, very good. So if you're looking for a special dinner, this is something I think you should try.